Hello guys and very welcome to another episode of Diaries of a Wildlife Photographer. This time, um, actually a little bit different than last time, uh, or than the last times. Um, so first I just wanted to try something new. Um, let's see how, how you like it. And um, the other side is that it was on the place where we wanted to go it was so full and so crowded of people and I guess I'm not that comfortable <laughs> with uh, speaking into a camera with um, yeah you know um, a lot of different people around um, or not right now maybe in the future maybe I will be comfortable then but right now I'm not very comfortable with that so I'm gonna going to tell you now what was happening there. So the actual aim of this episode was to photograph the bearded vulture and the golden eagle in the Swiss Alps. And there is actually a pretty pretty awesome place in Switzerland where you can do that um, it's like on the top of a hill on an edge where when the thermal winds come up and um, in the morning when the Sun is pushing the warm air up in this in the sky and then the bearded vulture and the golden eagle are taking turns on that edge and you can almost photograph the birds on eye level so, so far the plan, um, or in theory, yeah, should work out like that. <laughs> so, but actually when we were there um, last year, we were two times there for two days. So completely in, in four days. And in these four days, we never saw them once. So in the first two days, when we went, uh, it was freezing freezing cold it was like minus 15 degrees and we had like wind blowing off uh, blowing down from the north side which was actually the case why they didn't come uh, down the valley very strong winds like don't know like 50 kilometers per hour or so was freaking freaking cold out there two full days um, like eight nine hours uh, waiting there for the birds and yeah what should I say they didn't come at all we didn't see anything um, the second time was in summer we heard from another photographer who's with he wa who was visiting the place uh, very frequently like I guess he told us like 40 times in the last year so sh he should know what what he was talking about and um, we went there in summer. I learned from the last time and looked at the wind uh, at the wind map, and the wind was actually very good. Uh, <laughs> but there were some renovations on the hotel next uh, to the side where the vultures fly are flying, and there there were always coming up and down some helicopters with some cement. And uh, yeah, so also there we didn't see any bearded vulture or any golden eagle at all. And the only thing in summer we actually saw was a fox. We saw some chamois, but all down in the, in the, not in the valley, but a bit more down. And we saw some marmots. Yeah, so that was the only thing we had in summer. Uh, it's, it always takes three, three times to get good um, images. So this time, it was like one week ago now, um, we headed out very early in the morning, like four o'clock we got up. Um, and then we made ourselves ready, get in the car, make some coffee before that and drove like three hours through old Switzerland because it's in the south of Switzerland 
and um, yeah, got up there like the the first way up to the mountain was uh, eight o'clock in the morning, I guess. Um, got up there, the wind conditions were perfect. Uh, also, some friends accompanied us over there. Um, by the way, all the video or most of the video footage you see from the animals down there um, is from one of my friends, Tom. He also he makes some crazy good video content. Make sure to check him out on his YouTube channel if you are interested. Also, thank you very much, Tom, for giving me the, this footage because I actually didn't have the time to film anything. I was so focused in photographing on this trip and um, yeah thank you very very much for that Tom make sure you check him out and um, yeah so we got up in the morning over there waiting on the cliff and it was full of photographers we had like in the on the first day we had the edge was like stacked with photographers we had like 52 photographers there on on this rim and um, yeah it was crazy crazy full um, but in the evening when the sun almost was gone from the wall we had our first golden eagle and that was just perfect it was a perfect moment it came by from from the valley across the, the rim and right towards us make the turn like 15 meters away from us and then got up in the sky and was just perfect it was a perfect moment And then, what was actually also very nice in the evening, when the sun was already gone, I just we had just some some light, slightly light uh, on the wall. There was coming the young bearded vulture. That was like a perfect start into the day. And um, yeah, actually, we booked into the hotel. The other two guys uh, <laughs> were sleeping outside, and we went down to to dinner, and everything was quite nice. And then I looked outside out of the window, and I was like, "Wow, we had a full moon night that, uh, at that on that day." And I was like, wow, I have to get out and make some landscape photos. And yeah, that was just what we did after dinner. Uh, got up again, got out again, and um, yeah, took some crazy cool images. I always love photographing um, the stars or the night sky, but with the full moons, it always looks like so like supernatural somehow in the next morning 
we got up very early like breakfast was at seven and we got up like at um, 7 30 i think we were on the edge and we just were standing right at the uh, at the at the edge turned around and i was like <gasps> and the other guys were like <laughs> the the young bearded vulture was flying right above the their head like i don't know like five meters away or so and what they, he was like so close <laughs> and we were alone almost alone uh, on this uh, on this edge there and uh, it turned down and made a turn and came back to us like three times so very fantastic morning and very fantastic start and what should I say the day did only get better and better it was crazy action that day we just ran from one bird into another in like half an hour wait No, six times we had the bearded vulture and six times did the golden eagle came by almost uh, like two times they came as a pair like the first um, golden eagle was coming and just like you finished taking your photos along and then the second one was coming it was crazy action and uh, also it was not that that full on that day there were only like 30 photographers which is still a lot over there and um, yeah so that was just simply an amazing day i never expected that i was would would be happy if i at least saw one um bearded vulture but what should I say? Uh, this time we got really, really gifted. Yeah, then in the evening we went back down uh, after the sun was coming down and because um, we had to drive back like three hours now and um, yeah was incredible was an awesome experience and um, yeah now i think i'm gonna get back up here and that was actually all for the whole story um was well, like two days compressed into like i don't know 15 minutes 20 minutes that's it for this episode and i hope you stay tuned for the next episodes and we will see you then in the next episode of diaries of a wildlife photographer so 
See you soon, guys.